let's look at some of the major issues, some of which I've already discussed, some of which are kind of new. First of all, who gets to say? Who gets to be on top? Who gets to speak at all? Who gets to have an opinion? Who gets to uh, disagree? And who gets, to, um, who gets to be trusted? Those are all issues that because of the changeover and all these new techniques that we have are kind of up in the air. You know, we used to say, it used to be very clear and very straightforward. Well, people with lots of training, they go into publishing organizations and they get to decide. And no one really, you know, they, certainly people complained about it, but they didn't complain much. It was mostly an accepted system. Now we have all of these new ways coming up and we really don't know. So as I said at the very beginning of this lecture, I want you to start figuring this out. I want you to start figuring out how do we manage all these things? How do we put together crowd crowdsourcing and crowd, um, crowd voting with social networking, with algorithms, with expertise, and come up with a, a way that is okay and will take us into the future. Um, the place of someone like Google is, very, is a very interesting issue. Should Google be the one who's in charge of what comes up to the top of search results? In effect, Google is our way of accessing all the information on the web, by and large, you know, I mean, really, they are. You know, there's, there's, there's a few, you know, also RANs, but Google's on top for sure. And so Google's on top, and what Google puts on top becomes the most trusted, the most used, the most widely cited source. And is that okay? I don't know whether it's okay or not. It's up for you to decide, but I'll pose the issue. Is that okay? Should that be something that's done by governments or something like that? Who else would do it? Where, where else would that come from? Okay, and then finally, in what case do we use which things? And specifically, the crowd versus the experts. The crowd has some capabilities that experts don't. Experts have some capabilities that crowds don't. And um, there's, there's, uh, it's, it's up in the air as to who should be trusted under what circumstances and how to put those together. All right, so that's the issue of authority. And there's a lot going on there. And as always in this class, I'm only just touching the surface of these issues. But I want to get you thinking. And more than thinking, I want to get you acting. I want to get you carefully considering these things and beginning to put them together and beginning to figure them out.